Christmas DIY. This is the first time like I've done a pet DIY, but this is for definitely cat lovers that have a cat inside. And I'm only doing this because we just adopted a kitten. Well, we didn't adopt her. I went to urgent care um, and as I was walking in and out, she just came up and loved on me. Let me pick her up. She jumped in my car. I had to take her home. So I am making a homemade Christmas pet bed, if you would call it. My mom actually has made this the last three years for her two cats and they absolutely love it. So I thought I would pass this idea along to y'all because like I said, my mom makes them every year just for her cats. Um, so I thought I would show you how to do this pretty much with nothing. So all you're gonna need for this DIY is wrapping paper, tape, a pair of scissors, a cardboard box that will fit your cat. No, you're not gonna wrap your cat up. Um, something to decorate the front of the box, whether it's a ribbon or a bow, that's optional, but that's what I'm probably gonna do. And then something soft to place on the inside, whether it's a towel or a blanket to make it cozy inside. So the first thing we're gonna do, I am going to tape my box up. Well, fix the top of my box. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, I'm just taking an old Kirkland diaper box because that's what I have. And I am going to cut a hole right here at the bottom with my scissors. I'm just gonna kind of stab it. And I'm gonna kind of just, just make an opening for your cat is what you're gonna do. And you want to do this before you, um, and like I said, let me see if I can grab her. I just gave her a bath because she was covered in fleece, but there she is. She doesn't have a name yet. Um, but you're just gonna make an opening big enough for your cat. Honestly, you probably could do this for dogs, but I know my dog, he gets very bad anxiety in any type of crate or anything like that. Even if it's open, he will not um, touch it. So I know my dog wouldn't enjoy something like this, but you may have a dog that likes that type of stuff. And this box is not gonna be 100% even, y'all, but that is okay. I am just, if you know an easier way to do this, you do it whatever is easier for you. If it's easier not to cut it open with some scissors, then do what's easier for you. I'm just cutting a hole so eventually, Miss Ma'am over here without a name, because I've been going back and forth with some names and what I like will have a way to get in and out of her little box. And honestly, you could do this for year round. If she likes it, I probably will leave it for her. And then like come Valentine or Easter, I'll just make a different box with the holiday theme for her. Y'all know my, my animals are like children to me. Oh, you think that's cool. She wants to paw at the box. So I've got my slot cut off and you can just throw that away when you're done. So I did that, like I said, not even at all, but let's get into wrapping this box up. I'm in the middle of trying to wrap this box up and the cat is just not. Uh-uh, no, no, you can't chew on cords. She keeps trying to go in the box as I'm trying to put it together. So needless to say, this definitely works for cats. So I'm just wrapping it up in some wrapping paper that I have left over. But I, this is one, the last roll I actually didn't get to use for all of the kids' presents. Cause I just buy like the cheap dollar rolls sometimes the two or three dollar rolls and so um they don't produce that much paper or they don't have that much paper on them so i'm just using a leftover so it's not going to match any of our presents but that's okay she's going to enjoy it and no, no you can't play with that <laughs> she wants to play with wires so i'm gonna have to get her some toys Can you see her over there, y'all? 
So I think she has a name. Ever since she's been home today, I've been calling her Mimi. So I think she, her name is gonna be something with Mimi. I think it's gonna be Mia and for her nickname. Like Remy, we call him Remy Joe or Rim Rim. Yeah. So I think her name is gonna be Mia and for short, hold on, can't go in the box, Mimi. For short, it'll be Mimi. And Mia for long. So let me finish wrapping up this box and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is my box. I just, like I said, wrapped it all over. And in the front, it was a little bit longer, so I kind of folded it under and taped it down right there. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of ribbon. I'm not sure which one I wanna use yet. Um, thinking I'm gonna use the fa la 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 la. It just seems enticing. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how I do this. Y'all probably know. I don't know, fa la la la. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do fa la la la. And if it don't look right, then I'll change it up. Y'all probably know how to do this. I'm probably like really dumb showing y'all how to do this, but some of y'all might not know how to. So, and I may not even have it perfect, but my mom always used to do this. Should we kind of just do like this? Or like a really little bow. She'd crisscross it and she would just tape it on there. And the cats love playing with that little string. It makes it like a little toy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eventually have to get her a cat tree or something. If you can recommend your favorite cat toys, if you have a cat, let me know in the comments down below because I'm going to have to find her some stuff because she is playing with everything. Obviously, she's young. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm just going to take this pink bow. doesn't really match, but she's a girl, so she needs pink. Um, and I'm going to try and peel this sticker back. And my one-year-old will probably try and climb into this box. I see it coming now. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I'm going to stick it right here in the middle of the bow where the tape is to kind of try and cover that ugly tape up. And that is her box. And I'm going to throw a towel or an extra blanket we have in there. And she will probably love this better than my bed because Remy sleeps with me at night. So I don't think she's going to, they, they're getting along, but I just don't think she is going to want to sleep in my bed with Remy in there. So I think this will make it a little more enticing and she will love playing in it as well and hiding from Remy when she doesn't want to play. So this is your DIY little pet bed that Target, believe it or not, is selling these for 10 bucks and the cardboard is just already decorated. So yeah, you can do it pretty much with things you have around your house. And I hope this helped and gave y'all some ideas. And look how cute it is in front of my Christmas tree, y'all. Looks like a present with a hole in it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.